Patients who are transgender who have male pattern baldness and have lost the front, they only have two choices. So it's very simple. Hair transplants, grafts, mini grafts, my, any of those things, they're all hair transplants. Problem with those, they change texture, multiple sessions, takes a long time to get the result. Flaps are the opposite of that. That's the only other procedure. Because of what we had developed with the Fleming Mayer flap, we developed an irregular way to make an incision all the way across the hairline. We trim the back edge to remove the skin and bury those hairs under what's going to be the scar so the hair grows through the scar. That was such a good procedure versus transplants either for scalp advancement, which then we developed, and at the same time I was doing a lot of reconstructive surgery for uh, patients who had burns, explosions, uh, car accidents, and we were able to use tissue expansion. If someone had enough hair in the center, then we were able to put a balloon behind it, blow it up over about eight to 10 weeks with salt water, that their friends inject wherever they are in the world twice a week. And if they're in town, they come here and we inject it. And it slowly will raise and expand the scalp the way a pregnancy expands an abdomen. So it's behind here, the patient looks like they're wearing their hair in a bump. If they have enough flexibility, I just advance the scalp, but otherwise I use the balloon. If it's all gone, we use the balloon on the side blow it up, leave it hinged here, and then move it to the front. It works very, very well, and the hair never changes texture. You cannot do transplants and get that kind of density. The hair does not turn kinky like it does in transplants. Uh, and it's instant. So if your hair is 18 inches long on the side of your head, you move it to the front, it's 18 inches long there. It doesn't fall out. You don't have to wait for it to regrow. You don't have to have multiple sessions, but you do all of those things with transplants. So it was very popular with transgender patients who had lost the frontal hair. Once again, if they have the center, I just use a balloon, move it forward.